Long ago, in a small pond surrounded by trees, a green frog lived with his mother. Although she loved him very much, the green frog always did the opposite of what his mother said. If she told him to go to the forest, he went to the pond. If she asked him to do chores, he played with his friends. One morning, his mother said, Son, please wash yourself in the river. But the green frog cried, No, I don't want to take a bath. And rolled around in the mud. One afternoon, his mother said, Son, please catch some flies for dinner. But the green frog shouted, No, I want to go out and play. And frolicked in the forest until the sun set and the fireflies rose. One evening, his mother said, Son, please watch my swamp stew while I gather some herbs. Instead, the green frog whined, No, that's boring. I want to see my friends. And played hopscotch on the lily pads. When his mother returned home, the stew had boiled over and their home had nearly been burned down. Sighing in frustration, the mother frog said, Why is my son so disobedient? Why can't he do what he's told? What will happen to him when I'm old and gone? As years floated by, the mother frog tried to teach her son how to behave and listen, but time after time, he refused. The mother frog grew so worried that she became very ill. When the mother frog knew she would die, she called her son to her bedside to tell him her final wish. The mother frog wanted to be buried on the mountain, but because she knew the green frog would do the opposite, she said, Son, please bury me by the river bank. Do not bury me on the mountain. Promise me. The green frog looked at his mother with teary eyes. Mother, I promise. Soon after, the mother frog passed away. The green frog was wrought with grief. He regretted all the times he had disobeyed his mother and caused her pain. Though he couldn't change the past, he decided to finally listen to his mother. I never listened to my mother when she was alive, but in death, I will obey her. So, the green frog fulfilled his mother's dying wish and buried her by the riverbank. Every time it rained, he prayed to the heavens that the river would not rise. However, during the summer monsoons, rain poured from the sky. The river rose and rose until it overflowed and washed his mother's grave away. The green frog sat by the river bank in the pouring rain, crying and crying for his mother. And because of the green frog, even today, frogs croak whenever it rains.